About six months ago, me and Shelby were gonna go see one of our favorite artists, Bastille. Unfortunately, they rescheduled that concert for today, six months later, instead. Double unfortunately, Shelby's mom got the news of cancer and thus Shelby is now out of the country back home with her family. So, this left me alone with two tickets to this rescheduled concert. I messaged every friend I thought I had asking if they wanted a free ticket. I got rejected more times than I ever have. But I quickly snapped out of forever alone mode realizing that I could still share the concert with Shelby like originally planned if I filmed it and shared it with her on social media. Hashtag 2019. Am I right? It's the day of the concert, I get my tissues ready in case my nose bleeds, I call for an Uber and of course some mandatory Uber small talk. I like these comfy seats. Mm. <laughs> I'd say that's about a cringe level 14. I arrive at the location of the concert and realize how nice it would have been to have Shelby with me. But hey, there's nothing Photoshop can't fix. So I go inside the park only to find no people. I ask the staff where the concert is and you won't believe it, it's tomorrow! I got the wrong date. Thank god all my friends said no, this would have been really awkward otherwise. So I make my way back home, humbled, and uh, I get ready for the next day. Okay, second time's a charm. There's actually people here today. Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought showing up on the correct date is key when attending a concert? There are so many people here. But at last. I made it. Oh, and it hit me that I was on that stage only two months ago. Thank you, Kerwin. So, so it begins. What would you little maniacs like to do first? So there you have it, Shelby, I loved sharing this concert with you and we should do this again sometime. 